An important thing in the custom bike world is of course paintwork and it's a growing market for the people who make the paint. I've been set up in Doncaster now for three years, and, you know, driven out to Europe, but obviously in the UK it's getting bigger and bigger every year. And with our products, um, you can design your own sort of one-off uh, custom job. Uh, you can intermix uh, like the candy concentrates into different um, lacquers or the marbleizer um, to create our own different effects. But if you don't want or plain can't paint it yourself, there are people out there who'll do it for you. It came about deliberately. I used to come to the custom shows here in Doncaster when I was about 13 and I used to dream of painting bikes and cars when I was little and I figured a couple of years ago that I would realise a dream and give it a shot and I've got a stand here this year and it's, it's going really well for me. Yeah. I've spent the last 24 years as a graphic artist anyway, producing stage sets, all kinds of airbrush work, Photoshop painting, computer stuff. I'd say if anybody wants to go down the route of doing any kind of stuff, custom work. It's good to have a background in some kind of graphics, um, you know, to try and get specialised in a certain field. And I feel doing the detail works where, where I'd really like to be for that, yeah. There is a way of producing a visual on the computer anyway, and, I, and I've developed a way of doing 3D graphics on the computer where I can, I can take an idea from the customer, map the artwork onto the um, items on the computer, and show that to the client as almost like a finished job even though it hasn't actually touched paint yet at all. So then transferring that to 3D, it's kind of easy because you've thought the process through already. And when you come to paint it, it's just, it feels so much easier because you've got that far. And it's good for the customer because they can then see, rather than painting it and saying, oh, that's, I, I wasn't thinking of it looking like that when it was finished, you can actually see the whole job before you get to that stage. But how does he work out what the customer wants in the first place? Well, you just try and get a feel for what they're looking for, you know, what sort of person they are. Even maybe what sort of music they're into can reflect how you see, what you see in them, not necessarily all the time what they think they want, you know. It's, sometimes it's good to try and get your ideas across to people. And, uh, you know, that, that, that can come out with a specific colour or, you know, is, is someone going to look right if they've got skills on their bike, will they carry that off, you know. All those things can... Uh, come into you know into play but I mean if they've got a specific idea from the beginning obviously that makes my job loads easier